What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of TVP Eats, drinking and eating our way all across Las Vegas. Now, today's episode of TVP Eats, we're going to check out Lobster Me. I just happen to have the urge to want to get a lobster roll. Had been a while since I've been to Lobster Me. And since I've been around the Miracle Mile shops doing some reviews at some of the restaurants, I figured it was only right that I went ahead and checked it out and did a review for the channel, especially since it's been a while since I've been there. Now, there are two different locations of Lobster Me. You have one inside of the Miracle Mile shops, which is the one we're going to review today. And then they also have a location inside of the Grand Canal shops at the Venetian. I've yet to go to this particular location, but it is very, very popular amongst people who like this particular restaurant. Now, if you want to get to the location here at Planet Hollywood, what you'll want to do is go into the Miracle Mile Shops entrance. If you're coming from the southern entrance, it'll be the entrance in between the Rock Bar and the Chick-fil-A. What you do is just go through those doors and you will literally just walk straight through the walkway. You'll pass the Rock Bar, you'll pass the Planet Hollywood Casino, you'll see the ABC store and a couple of other shops and literally keep straight down that path until you get to Lobster Me, which will be next to Fat Tuesday. You can't miss it because once you get to where Lobster Me is, there's a fork to either go right or go left or literally walk up to the restaurant. Now, Lobster Me is known for their signature lobster rolls. They have multiple different dishes that you can get here, but the lobster rolls are the signature of Lobster Me. You can get them in five different types. You can get the one pounder, which is a full pound of lobster meat. Um, you can get the one pounder warm or chilled. They also have a shrimp roll. So let's say you want to get a roll, but you don't want any lobster. Um, you can get a shrimp roll. This is also warm. You can get the blue crab roll, which is one of the chilled rolls. You can get the Connecticut, which is a warm roll, or you can get the main lobster roll, which is a chilled lobster roll. You don't want a lobster roll and you want to try something different or you want to get something extra. They do have some favorites, which are also side dishes. And then if you just want like a light snack, they do have some sidekicks. But we came for the lobster roll and what I wanted to do was get one of the chilled rolls and one of the warm rolls so that I can compare both of the two and give an opinion on both. Now, all of the lobster rolls do come with one side, so you can choose for one of six different sides. You can either get Cajun fries, side salad, clam chowder, lobster bisque, chowder fries, and lobster mac and cheese. And for this video, what I decided to do was I ordered the main lobster roll, which is one of the chill rolls, and I got that with a side of lobster bisque. And then I got the Connecticut, which is one of the warm lobster rolls, and then I got a side. I got that with a side of the chowder fries, which is waffle fries and clam chowder. So let's go ahead and start with the main roll and the lobster bisque. Now this is the chill roll. Now in my opinion, I actually like the lobster roll. I can say one thing about their lobster rolls. Number one, they're not extremely heavy. Um, so if you did eat the lobster roll in the side, it would definitely be satisfying. But for some appetites, it probably would not be fillings. It would be more kind of like a snack or maybe like a, an appetizer in a way. Um, but they were really good. So the lobster roll was delicious. The bun was really toasted. It was a buttery toasted bun. Um, but it was toasted enough to where it wasn't super crunchy or it wasn't real crunchy, but it wasn't like so soft where it would just the meat and the sauce would sag through the bun, which I really, really liked. It was really delicious. And then the lobster meat itself, it was really flavorful. The chilled lobster rolls actually have a mayo base, so you get the seasonings with the mayo. And I really liked it. On a, I would give it a four out of five stars. Um, I really liked the flavor with the chilled uh, lobster meat. Again, the bun was perfectly toasted. Um, but the only reason I won't give it a five star is because it wasn't like something that I made that I felt when I ate was to like die for. It wasn't like the best thing I ever had, but it was really, really good. I would definitely get it again and recommend it to anyone who might want a chilled lobster roll. Now, the lobster bisque was really good, had a lot of lobster meat inside of it. I um, mean, it was really flavorful, it was really warm. Um, it was really good. I would give the lobster bisque as well a four out of five. I've had lobster bisque all over the places um, and it had a real good flavor to it. Um, it was really good, but it wasn't like the best lobster bisque I've ever had in my life. So I would give the lobster bisque a four out of five stars. So after I had the main and I had the lobster bisque, I went ahead and tried the Connecticut, which is the warm lobster roll. And just like the main lobster roll, that roll, that bun, that toasted bun that they have for these lobster rolls, it's just so soft and buttery. And it's got that perfect crunch. Like I said, it, the meat just doesn't sag through. The sauce doesn't sag through. It just, it holds it perfectly. Great flavor. So uh, the rolls and the buns for them are just spot on amazing now as far as the meat goes i really like the lobster meat in the connecticut 
like I said, this one was warm versus it being cold from the main lobster, but they were both really good. Um, for the main lobster rolls, they use more of a butter um, seasoning or butter base. And in my personal opinion, I would give this also a four out of five because I thought it was really good. I thought it tastes really good. Um, but again, it didn't, it wasn't, I didn't, it didn't blow me away. Like five out of five has got to be like a must have. And I wouldn't necessarily say I would call this a must have, but it's something that I would highly recommend. Um, so after I had the Connecticut, I went ahead and tried and ate the clam chowder fries. Now this may surprise a lot of people as it surprised me. <laughs> they were amazing. Now the chowder fries out of everything I ate between both the lobster rolls, the lobster bisque and the uh, chowder fries, five out of five stars. Like I was so blown away. Like if you love clam chowder, the clam chowder is amazing. And then the fries were cooked to perfection, but they were cooked so well and they had like a light seasoning to it or hardly any much of a seasoning because of the fact that they were covered with the clam chowder. <sighs> yeah, best thing I had by far was the chowder fries. Amazing. And that's no knock to the lobster rolls. The lobster rolls were really great, but it, I was just completely impressed with the combination of French fries and clam chowder. I would have never thought. Um, now I will say this, um, between the two lobster rolls, for my personal preference, I would rather have the Connecticut, the warm lobster roll over the main lobster roll with the cold lobster meat, simply because I would just prefer the lobster meat to be warm versus cold or chilled. Um, but I will say that the, in my opinion, the lobster meat in the main lobster roll actually held the flavor better than it did in the Connecticut. So even though the lobster meat was chilled, it still was very flavorful. And I felt like I got more flavor when I ate the main lobster roll with it being chilled than I did with the Connecticut and the lobster roll being warm. I enjoyed them both equally, like I could eat either one with no problems asked. But me, I just rather my lobster meat warm. Some people might prefer to have the lobster meat chilled. So flavor for flavor wise, they're both good, but I think the flavor is more, you can taste it more in the chilled uh, with the main roll than you can with the Connecticut. So, oh, and last not least, I just go ahead and throw this out here. Yeah, I had the coleslaw too, and I, I'ma just be honest with y'all. I would give it a two out of five stars. The only reason I'm gonna give it two stars and not one star is because there was some type of taste to the coleslaw, but was not a fan of it. Um, I don't even really know how to describe what it tastes like. It just tastes like coleslaw. It was nothing special. Like it wasn't even an average three stars. I give it two stars simply because there was some type of flavor, but it's nothing that I would even like. I didn't even finish it. I just ate it and I was like, nah, I'm good. So that was my experience at Lobster Me. If y'all have been to Lobster Me, Comment below, share your thoughts. What are your favorite dishes at Lobster Me? Would you recommend Lobster Me? Um, if you haven't been to Lobster Me, I'm gonna recommend it and definitely tell you all to go and check it out. But that's gonna do it for this video. So if you all enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>